打破电动汽车漂移最快吉尼斯世界纪录的条件是，车辆需要以超过两百零七公里每小时的时速维持三十度漂移角度超过五十米。前几把都没成功嘛，都要不速度没达到，要不就是漂移的角度没达到，呃，这个标准。所以最后一把是角度也得做到三十度以上，然后速度也得做到两百零七公里以上。这个要想做到两百零七公里的漂移速度，这对车辆的加速性能要求非常高，直线得加到两百三十五到两百四十五这个区间，因为一漂移阻力很大，会降速。所以呢，这个我就,就基本把这个八百四十米的场地给它从头到尾每一米都给用上了。呃 ，SSR 的后视镜都已经离高速公路护栏可能就几公分、十几公分，这个过程中。车辆要配合我非常细微的操作，做出精准反应。漂移完了后开始减速，这个减速也用到了这个场地的最尽头了。最后刹车刹停了，就剩几公分了。那最后这一次是吉尼斯给我们的这个最后一次机会。我我在发车之前，我就跟导演说，就是放心，我一我一定会完成的。因为因为相机也在开着，然后吉尼斯鉴定官也在现场。如果没有成功，就是我可能会，我可能会自闭的。然后呢，最后一把速度、角度、加速的地方、减速的地方、漂移的时机，全部都刚刚好达标，所以也算运气好吧。然后，但压力也顶住了。嗨，志成啊，送伙计的任务就交给你了。你放心，同志，保证完成任务。The Chinese supercar, the Ion Hyper SSR, went wild. It smashed its rivals by setting a Guinness World Record for a 213.5 km per hour drift. The automotive world was aghast. The Chinese-made Ion Hyper SSR supercar pushed the boundaries of pure electric drifting, reaching a staggering 213.523 km per hour. Breaking the Guinness World Record and surpassing the previous record of 207.996 kilometers per hour. That's incredible. Don't think it was just about speed. The challenge was incredibly difficult. Drifting continuously for over 50 meters while maintaining a precise drift angle of 30 degree, a typical electric car would have lost control long ago. Driver Yi Zhicheng stated that the entire performance was based on the Haobo SSR's exceptional responsiveness and precise feedback on even the slightest adjustments. The handling was truly incredible. As China's first mass-produced pure electric supercar, its robust configuration is undeniable. Its three-motor, all-wheel drive setup delivers 1,225 horsepower and 12,000 Nrm of torque at the wheels. Accelerating from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in just 1.9 seconds, even more powerful than the Tesla Model S Plaid. The all-carbon fiber body and intelligent variable damping dampers are both lightweight and incredibly stable. At 250 kilometers per hour, the active rear wing provides 100 kilograms of downforce, giving you the confidence to drift at high speeds without tipping over. Priced from 1.286 million yuan. It outperforms a host of imported supercars, even winning acceleration tests against the Ferrari SF90 and Porsche 918. The GAC Group chairman was absolutely right. That 213.523 kilometers per hour isn't just a number; it's a new milestone for the Chinese automotive industry as it moves into the high-end market.